Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project vegetable store management system and I have developed this project in Java Spring Boot microservice architecture and for front-end development I have used the Angular application right Angular is a front-end applications and on the back-end side we have developed the API using the Java Spring Boot JDK version we are using JDK 1.8 and MySQL version is 5.6 MySQL we are using as a database and Angular version is 7 right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project so for id part we are using uh, sts spring boot tool suites for developing the microservice architecture using the spring boot and uh, visual studio code for developing angular based applications right we are running our microservices using the sts tool and using ng serve command we are using we are running our uh, angular applications right so these all technology stacks all ide we have used for developing this project uh, vegetable store management system so let's start with the functionality go to that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so this is a web-based applications and it's only admin driven there is no customer login there is no customer registration available inside this project so once you run this ng serve command then you will get this home page right home page it's a login page right and we are running angular application on 4200 port 4200 so once you get this page the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard so it contains a lot of functionalities which can be performed only by admin so let me go through one by one those so this is the start cell from here you can start the cell enter the customer name so i am adding j right and customer mobile number and once you click on the start sales then you can see the order number has generated automatically this is the date when order is created the customer name and the customer mobile select the product once you click on the once you select the product and enter the quantity then you will be able to see that item has been added into the cart this drop down will contain all of the vegetables which you have added earlier from the admin panel i will show you later right here you can see three kgs this one right and this one so you can see right <coughs> so capsicums oh right so you can see the price is calculating automatically if you want to delete any item then you can delete it and the total cost will be calculated automatically it will be adjusted according to the total item so you can see these are all uh, are the sales details once you complete with the sales details just click on the save sales details and the information of this whole page will be saved inside the database right you can see the information has been saved and the order number is 106 right and you can access this sales space letter also like i will show you you can print it so once you click on the print receipt then the whole page will be printed using the printer right this is order report all of the order which you have made earlier means which admin will have made earlier will be displayed here once you click on this icon then you can see the details of that order right this is the order report this is a product report all of the product which has been added by the admin will be displayed here and this is a current application of the product means create read update and delete operations once you click on the edit you can edit it right and you can update the details even you can delete the data from the system also so you can see it has been deleted this is the add product from here you can add any number of products into the database this is a company report from here you can see all of the companies right which you have added will be is played here this is a ad company from here you can add the companies this is a category report from here you can add any number of categories right and you can uh, perform CRUD application on the categories this is add category from here you can add the category and the logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will be redacted to the login page so you let me show you logout you are redacted to the login page if you log in then you can see you you will get a dashboard right so this is a session driven and this is a one layout and logout and this is a second layout right so we have implemented two layouts here on the angular part 
so we have developed these our number of functionalities in this project right and features inside this project so if you need more functionality in this project you can just comment or you can ping us on the whatsapp we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements right and as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot and angular based web based applications right so don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much